Now we're looking at the print sideways method. I grabbed this right from the notes, pasted it in. Uh, it looks like there's no issues with it. Super similar to the regular print. And again, you got the uh, public private. And here on print sideways, you got your public private. And this one took no arguments. Uh, but the additional parameter that we're gonna have is an indent in addition to the, uh, the root node. Uh, and this indent just keeps getting four spaces longer every time that you go to one of the children, the left or the right. All right, this one may seem a little weird because it printed right before left, but if you think about it, when you look at the output, you really have to rotate your head sideways. I can't rotate the screen sideways. I might be able to, but it probably would mess up the recording. But rotate your head to the left 90 degrees so the 10 appears on top. And then if your head's rotated, now 30's on the right and 20's on the left. And so that's why it's printing right first and left second, because when you rotate your head sideways, you see the right one at the top or first and the left one at the bottom. Uh, now, once you have this more interesting print method, because you can see the structure of the tree, now you want to start to build an interesting tree with many more nodes. And I'm going to give you a little start on how to do that. So let's compact what we did right here. And tree nodes. So here's where we're building new nodes right here. All right. Let's do that in the next video, actually.